Hi, I'm Sandy Sandler, the creator of the Bodabra, and today I'm going to show you a really simple bow that makes a gorgeous either tree topper for a really large tree or a door bow or something for your mantle. So let's get started. The first thing I'll do is start with my Bodabra bow wire. If you're not familiar with our Bodabra bow wire, it's really cool because it's very, very strong, but it's also a wire, it's not a string. So I'm going to fold my wire in half and lay that down into the Bodabra. And because I'm making a really big bow, I cut a little extra wire and I just tuck it under the Bodabra to keep it out of my way. I'm not attaching it to anything. Now I'm going to take some deco mesh. And I love deco mesh because it's so pretty, but it's really a pain to work with. But in the Bodabra, it's really easy. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to scrunch a little bit together and push that down into the Bodabra. Now I'm just going to fold it back and forth and make my loops. And the thing about deco mesh is it gets caught. You can see it's getting caught on everything. So it is kind of a pain to work with, but it's so pretty and it's relatively inexpensive. So you can make absolutely gorgeous bows for not a lot of money. So now I'm just going to do that and then I'm going to just take my wand and kind of scrunch everything down in there. Next, I'm going to take some really pretty burlap that I got that I think looks beautiful with this mesh and I'm just going to twist it so that the wrong side is on the inside. And in our DVD that comes with the Bodabra, we have the twist and fold bow, so you can watch that also. Um, and so just twist, and then I'm just going to fold it. And I'm just making these loops a little bit smaller, or a lot smaller actually, than the bigger loops to add a little dimension to the bow. Now I ended up taking an end piece from a roll, so it's not enough ribbon for what I want to do, but that's not a problem with Bodabra, because all I'm going to do here is just start again. And I'm just going to fold it, twist, and push it down in here. And then I am just going to straighten it out, fold, twist, and push it down into my Bodabra. And now because I have a lot in my Bodabra, I am going to kind of like cheat a little bit and hold it down with my hand, but not too much. And then here I'm just going to end my loop like that. Then now I am going to take this beautiful pick that I bought and I have a habit of going to all the craft stores at the end of the season and buying all the beautiful holiday picks when they're all on sale. So now I'm just going to take my wand and just kind of maneuver that into here and scrunch it down. And now take the wire that I tucked underneath and the reason that I tucked it that I folded the wire in half when I first did it is because now I have a loop and two ends, so I have a slip knot. So I just pull, hold my bow down, pull it through the slip knot while it's still in the bodabra, separate my ends, and just pull it out and bring the ends around to the back. And I can tie a knot or I can tie a bow. So I'll just tie that off there tie a little bow on the back of that and now you have an absolutely beautiful designer bow and this can go on a door, can go on a mantle, be a beautiful, beautiful tree topper. And if you were to buy that in the store, believe me, you'd spend 30 or $40 for it. And this cost took me oh, no time at all to make and maybe cost me about five or six dollars. 